Good morning, it's Anna Kaspar. It is 8.16 a.m. on 5-12-2017. Very interesting in the neighborhood. Uh, directed energy weapons were very intense last night. My new hood has helped dramatically. I'm getting a sleeping bag that will completely cover me head to toe, essentially, so that when I sleep, all um, of these radio waves basically bounce off of me. I can feel already the market change in my brain. But you can tell that radiation has been hitting me because once again, this which had been healing is now opening. Um, and it's just what happens. It's radiation. It's serious. It undermines your entire body and most certainly your immune system. And you can tell I'm dehydrated. And I, I haven't drank any less water or any less fluids. I'm doing a wonderful, wonderful carrot, mango uh, juice, um, you know, and I'm doing everything in my power on my side to transcend their clinical insanity, but <laughs> they have really big toys, and they're very immature boys, some immature girls, but a lot of immature boys, a lot. Um, but it seems that they're gearing up to really like slam me in one way or another. So if I go missing, if, uh, and I mean, if I go missing, like they can trump something up to put me in jail or trump something up to put me in, uh, what is that thing? I, you know, the mental ward, they can trump something up to, to dump me in a river. I mean, this is Florida and a lot of strange things has ha have happened to Floridians <laughs> since 2000. I should say since dear... Jeff Bush. And maybe before, I don't know. I've not lived in the South before. I didn't really realize that the South is quite as uh, South <laughs> as it is. So, um, so to that end, I have to be very careful this weekend. And I want you to monitor me. So if I go missing, I need you. And I mean, missing means if I'm not reporting into you at least two or three times a day via video on Facebook, okay? I need you to then uh, call the local hospital. Uh, I'm in Sarasota, Florida, uh, the local jail, um, and I guess probably the local uh, mental ward. I don't know what that would be. But anyway, so because this is a very, very corrupt state. It did, remember, this is the state in which Scientology was able to take hold and grow astronomically. This is the state of its worldwide headquarters in Clearwater. So you got to really get what Florida is. Um, and of course, the robber barons began this with, you know, Ringling Brothers. Oh, they're still beaming. I'm so exhausted from it. It's just, you know, it's so troublesome because at the end of the day, I have had an amazing life. And I mean, just like, wow, just amazing. It's not always been easy, but that it wasn't planned that way. Life is never planned to be easy. Life is life. And if you come out of it um, a better person with, with a bigger, better soul, uh, more creative, more contributory, more exploratory, you've had a great life. Um, so at the end of the day, whatever they do, it's kind of like a nuisance. It's like a... Um, the best way I can put it is, it's, it's just like a, it's like a, um, it's just a nuisance. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible nuisance. And even if they were to take me out, and since some folks believe that these deep state players or New World Order players or shadow government players, or I don't know, there's so many different names for them. It's just, and I can't even find the accurate noun and or adjective, quite honestly. But they, some people believe that they are, um, you know, that they are uh, Satanists or Luciferians. And so they, and I particularly, I guess, within the Luciferian cult, there is this group, the Satanists, who are into suffering and pain and torture and death. And I guess they call themselves Satanists because it's a good way to cloak what is really wrong, which is that they are psychopaths and they are, I guess I would call them the dark triads, psychopaths for sure. So those folks seem to be pretty committed to my program at this juncture. Maybe they always were, probably at some juncture, um, because uh, the traditional avenues were unable to take me out. I got my contract, because this is human trafficking, this is big time human trafficking, without doubt. Um, and it's very much tied into, as I recently heard someone 
of uh, Romola D's group, say, tied into the pedophilia group. Absolutely. This, uh, this, this, at this level of torture and destruction, these are Satanists who are carrying this out, or the heavy-duty psychopaths who really need to be quarantined. And was that movie that uh, Tom Hardy did, Bronson? That's who they are. See that movie? You'll know. You'll know who stalk us daily. You'll know who surveil us daily. You'll know who torture us daily. You'll know who attempts to murder us. Oh, at least once a week, I suppose, in the case of most um, most listed individuals. So be on top of it. If I'm not posting on Facebook throughout the week and at least twice a day, please be on top of it. Um, I did listen finally to um, a forum conversation with uh, Catherine Horton and Romola D and uh, Karen Stewart, Karen Melton Stewart, um, a fellow from beyond, a, a fellow whose name escapes me, and, and Millicent Black. God bless you, Millicent. Oh my God, woman. Forgive this intercept or interject, but. Milsa Black is the type of woman who inspires me. Um, she's the type of illegally listed individual who has been so severely assaulted and yet remains in such grace that every single person on the planet should work for Millicent Black. Every single listed and or targeted individual on the planet most definitely should be working for Millicent Black. What that woman has gone through at the hands of these very, very psychologically ill um, noun fails entities. God bless her forever. But back to the conversation. It's interesting, this forum idea was one that, of course, I shared with dear Catherine Horton back on January 18th. I'm not going to get into the running feud with dear Catherine Horton because it's just a moot point. It's very clear who is actually the more effective leader here. The person being taken out is always the more effective leader. The person who is not being taken out pretty generally is controlled opposition. But that's for another conversation. But this last forum they did, was it, it was good. There wasn't any new news, basically a lot of my, my ideas. But um, I just wanted to add to what they had to say, which is I really believe that at this juncture, America is a moot point. Nothing positive can come in America. If you want to do individual lawsuits and you want to spend the money um, and you're sure that within your uh, jurisdiction you have um, you have ethical you have still have an ethical justice system or judicial you know players. Well, then you can try that. And for injunction relief, yeah, go ahead. However, you have to really get something that um, once you get injunctive relief, it depends on the program. I, I think those of us who are much more severely uh, uh, um, played. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I think it, it, it's a whole different thing because what they just do is they just switch players. So you injunct all the players, unless you're straight down to like CIA, FBI, Fusion Center at this location with these players at this time. Um, it's going to be a joke, especially in America because the degree to which America has fallen in to the rabbit hole is really something shocking. And so I just, at this juncture, especially after what I experienced here in Florida with Mark Rubio's office, I mean, it's unbelievable how bad this country is. Oh my Lord. I mean, I have, I have so much evidence of um, fraud by the IRS, fraud by Social Security, crazy, crazy evidence of Rubio's office um, being enlisted, to assist uh, listed targeted individuals in the United States to get legislative as well as immediate injunctive relief. And uh, we were just, CORE was just, 
attacked like there is no tomorrow. I mean, dismantled. So if, and of course, Florida is a very difficult state, but let's remember that the folks who um, started these programs have control of New York State, Florida, Texas, and California for sure. And of course, that was their that was their playbook was to get control of those states first and foremost because it's just the natural strategy of war is to take out the head. It's always that's always the way. And once you have control of the head, then the rest of the organism follows. So I just don't believe that ultimately individual lawsuits will bring real remedy, except for the individuals who are filing them. And pretty generally, unless Catherine Horton does deliver, I think, on her promise to provide instruction uh, of how to file pro se, it's an issue. Um, two, uh, providing affidavits for someone else's claim, unless it is a group and or class action, is just what's called supporting evidence. It's not, um, it's, it's, it's not forensic and it's not, uh, it's different when it's a group or a class action. So ultimately, those of you who will supply affidavits to assist anyone in these actions, whether it be Romola or Karen or Millicent, everyone should supply one for Millicent. Um, or uh, Catherine Horton, just understand that you need to make sure that you have a very strong understanding and command of how you will be using what you're doing for these individuals for yourself. Otherwise, you will be retaliated against really dramatically, and they may end up getting some kind of cover because this kind of approach is what is called cherry picking. Cherry picking is when certain members of a community, and this is in any endeavor, by the way, come forward like five planes this morning since an hour. I mean, really? I just cannot believe the amount of money that these well, of course, it's all from black ops. It's all from running guns and running drugs. So, of course, they have plenty of money. But anyway, um, just re you have to remember that, uh, that you will be very severely retaliated against um, if you don't have the right kind of cover. Now, and remember, these women, God bless them, did not get financially bludgeoned like I did. And they didn't get financially bludgeoned like a lot of people do. Um, and for that, they should be incredibly thankful because that means their program was not a complete takedown. No matter what they say, it wasn't. Because if you, when you get financially bludgeoned, when, when for a decade, every single person who comes into your life almost, let's say 90%, are, uh, you know, are uh, perpetrators, and very high-end perpetrators, um, then you know you have a complete takedown program. So, so for those of you who want to follow this strategy, just make sure that you have ahead of time all of the understanding and documentation that you need to be able to file your own pro se lawsuit at the same time that you are providing affidavits. Please do not provide affidavits to individuals without making sure that you know that you have protective cover in your own, uh, in your own, um, this is the solution I see, <laughs> it, it, eat protective cover in your own case because you just are, you're really extending yourself and the individual actually has the protective cover because the individual who is filing the um, individual case is the one who's before uh, the judiciary and has the protection of the judiciary. In the United States, this is particularly careful, but particularly important, and you must be particularly careful because um, in the summer of 2015, when I, or maybe it was the fall of 14, I was attempting to hire a uh, civil rights counsel because of what was being done to me, and I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing, but I was told by a pretty significant attorney in upstate New York that there were no civil rights lawyers left in America, that uh, the law itself had been changed so dramatically that it was very difficult to, per to prosecute uh, and to bring forth and, and prevail in a civil rights lawsuit. It gets a lot more complex, but the law changes, the legal change. Oh, 
these morons. You know, I just, I can't, this is, this is like having a beau who's, it, that's what it's like. It's like being stalked by a beau who you can't get a restraining order against because there's only 5 million of them. And I mean it, everybody says, oh no, it's only the same guy riding bike. No, not in my world. I have friends who've been sitting out there and taping or filming on and off for uh, since November. And there's like about a hundred players in my thing. It's really out there. But back to this. Um, so you want to make sure that you have protective cover also. So that means that when you supply an affidavit in support of anyone else's filing, they supply an affidavit for you and your filing. And that's all. This kind of cherry picking phenomena where some people get out and the majority don't, this has gone on for way too long. And it's a very, by the way, very, very typical um, kind of strategy of what's called control opposition in any movement, which is to cherry pick out people. It's, just, it's the same thing that you've been seeing for decades, um, those of you who have been targeted for a long time. It's to cherry pick out certain individuals to give a certain level of, of success that looks like it's success, but it's really not because the majority of people are still, still being tortured and murdered. So I disagree with the approach fundamentally, but since I've been forced to stand down and my group has been forced to stand down until I am in safe uh, haven, and I've been saying this for two months to my group, etc. cetera, um, and members, certain members of my group, I'm pretty sure were heavy duty infiltrators, perpetrators because of the way they exited, which is a very typical, typical, you know, you can always tell a perpetrator infiltrator by the way they conduct themselves, the whole frame up, the whole narrative, the whole exit is always the same. They're so stupid. It's quite amazing. But anyway, back to this. Ultimately, you're going to have to have a class action, multiple class actions throughout the world. It's the only way this is going to change. It's the only way. And of course, the reason I'm being so aggressively taken out is because uh, my strategy was exactly spot on, exactly spot on. And because I was actually creating evidence for defendants here in Florida and elsewhere, but big defendants, like really big defendants. Yeah, that's what happened to moi. And I have to say that when I filed on uh, April 14th, what I filed here in Florida with Marco Rubio's office, I found it very strange that the following Monday, and that 14th, an hour and a half later, or about an hour later, the very severe directed energy weapon, you know, 24 seven phenomena started. Um, it's not, it's not a fluke that that following Monday, so we're talking 15, 16, 17th at 4.30 p.m., um, I received a rejection letter from the only lawyer that I believe in the United States actually has the capacity and ability to uh, stop this and to change the laws um, regarding this entire phenomenon. And I found it very strange that the rejection letter, this was after about six or eight weeks of, of them responding favorably, uh, I found it very strange that the rejection letter would come from a deputy counsel at the firm who uh, had a very extensive banking background, banking and finance background. So what I'm going to say is that it, it's very clear to me because I still believe in the integrity of that firm. Very much so because they've done some incredible, remarkable work. And again, they are probably the only firm in the United States who can actually take this on as a class action and create definitive law that will change the entire terrain for Americans. And they're the only firm in the world that I know who could pick up the phone and get lawyers throughout the world to do class actions on behalf of individuals in uh, whatever state nation um, needed to have it done. So the fact that they stood down tells me that um, these programs are very, very, very comprehensive. They are vast, they are deep, they are full, and they're of a robustness that, um, that I, I, I don't think we may be quite aware of. I know we think we are, but I don't think so. And I think at this juncture, based on, you know, 
how many years? 30 plus years of, you know, um, 40 years of pretty intensive analysis of socioeconomic, macroeconomic, microeconomic, geopolitical, blah, 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 analysis that one has to learn to be able to do effectively in order to invest correctly for self and clients. Um, this is not the time in the United States, not right now. It's the time in terms of awareness and, and it's the time it's the time in terms of grassroots um, activity and commitment. It's not the time in terms of real legal remedy. I can't say that this firm declined on an ongoing basis. It said at this time, the note, at this time for a variety of reasons which is very nebulous, which is their way. And this is an incredible firm. They don't write nebulous notes, right? Okay. Th their way of saying, not right now, at this time, for a variety of reasons. And I listened to that. These are some of the most brilliant people on the planet and, and highly creative and amazingly nimble and have gone up against the United States government in many ways, many times. So I'm, I'm taking that to heart. Um, and I'm saying to my American colleagues and co-sufferers of these programs to, to keep working on, on the awareness and action campaigns and keep working on human rights in the United States and affiliate as strongly as possible with any and all human rights organizations that you can. I have to stand down. I don't have a choice. They're murdering me. And quite frankly, I don't want to accelerate because every time I talk, every time I post, every time, I just, I can't take it. It's way too much torture. I uh, just... I'm just, I'm not that kind of gal. <laughs> I just can't do torture. It's like, oh my God. I mean, it was torturous enough to have my entire life destroyed. It was torturous enough to have careers blown up. It was torturous enough to have more than $50,000 in uh, personal items stolen and or, destroyed, and or destroyed. It was torturous enough to have several bows uh, worked away from me. It was torturous enough to have, uh, you know, at, at least... $25 million career stolen from me. It was torturous enough to have $250,000 in disability benefits stolen from me. It was torturous enough to watch the world go up in flames while I knew that of the ways that uh, I've known since I was 11, the ways that things should be done in the world so that we um, have like a groovy, cool Eden kind of experience. That's been torture enough. So this with satellites and I have no idea. I mean, it, it could be people are beaming me, but this is, my whole house is pulsing and it's the cat, the, everybody's affected. It's the, my gardens are destroyed. My trees are hemorrhaging. I mean, it's just, it's enough. So I need to get to safe harbor where that is. I, I, there are several options now, but I just step by step. And I need to stand down because it's very clear these guys want me to stand down and shut up as always because I know too much and I understand too much. And, and, uh, <laughs> and for, for those reasons, because I speak the truth and know the truth instantly, I am tortured for 20 years of my life, longer perhaps. We'll see ultimately one day when all of the evidence comes together. Although I have to say there's so much already. It's like, geez, it's crazy. Um, so so just be careful the way, the way you conduct yourself in the, these endeavors with this group. Um, I don't, I'm not questioning the integrity of the group. I question the integrity of the leader of the group because of the way she has consistently shown a lack of integrity in her interaction with me. I also see that with another person with whom she's affiliated, um, in Europe who also has acted in a not integrous way with me, um, pretty consistently and it's kind of aiding and abetting of Catherine Horton and her whatever, whatever. I mean, this like sorority girl stuff, if it's that, if it's not controlled opposition, it's pathetic. It's as pathetic as the guys up in the sky who are like dive bombing and radiating and the people. I mean, it's just like pathetic. But, um, so just be very, very careful because the next thought, Ramola D, uh, the media, 
The reason the media is standing down is the media, as we know, is completely controlled, and that includes the alternative media, Amaladu. If you think for one second that the alternative media and all of its faces and all of its players are not also very dramatically controlled, you would be wrong. They are, and it takes a rare, rare, rare set of circumstances to break a story of this import and of this magnitude because you're literally talking about upending a system that is in its demise but delusionally believes it's in its rise. This bird keeps on trying to fly into my home lately. <laughs> and it's turquoise blue. It's the most incredible bird. I need to open the window for it, I suppose. Um, so the reality is that for the past six weeks, ever since we filed the UN filing, and of course we've not heard a word back from the UN, because I'm pretty sure everyone knows, and maybe that's why I have such a hard problem with some of my community members. If you screw with me, you're going to have a really large problem because I just don't take to being screwed with. And when I come to your doorstep, it's because what I am bringing is the truth and you need to act in integrity and in honor. And unfortunately, Ramola, the majority of media, alternative included, are not functioning that way. And don't think for a second that the folks that you would believe function that way do. I have talked to many really incredibly integrous and reputable uh, media reps, and they're not ready. They're not ready. They're very, very afraid. They are very afraid they will be targeted as well. And they need to see a lot more um, reputable personalities and players come forward in a consistent, unified manner. They're very taken aback by the continued fractionalism, which I uh, really, really disrespect and believe leadership has fostered for a long time and continues because most of the leadership in the in our community is controlled opposition, I'm pretty sure. Um, but uh, so I didn't think when I began and had I had I actually listened a little bit more carefully to what everyone was telling me I would not be in the position I am in and I copped to being way too arrogant um, about my ability to uh, to be a, uh, a quarterback for change I didn't think that this situation was actually as horrific as it is and it is really horrific. In all, for all intents and purposes, the planet is in lockdown by these people. And that's from the stratosphere down. So um, I don't have any words of wisdom on how to uh, get around this, but I, I will once again say it is critical that you use your critical facilities to ensure that cherry picking does not occur in this community that the community unites in a very, very, very strong, sophisticated and purposeful move toward freedom and restitution. And by the way, the money thing, excuse me, our life force, in my case, 20 years of it, has been stolen. And it's bad enough it's been stolen, but, it, but in the process of it, it, we were tortured. We have every right to financial restitution, every single right. Any individual who has had this kind of interception in their life and this kind of torture perpetrated against them by whomever, at, for whatever reasons, has the right to tort remedy without question. And this, again... It's, it seems to be a controlled opposition move to get only injunctive relief because I know this about these boys. They're the most anal retentive swine ever. I'm sorry, insult swine. See what I mean? But the one thing that they treasure above all is money. 
And so for them, parting with money is the most painful, difficult, outrageously horrific experience for them. And that's the only way they will change. It's the only way they ever change. So injunctive relief might work a tiny bit, but pretty much they're just going to, you know, you have to understand these are dark triad personality disorder folks. They will just move the, they'll just move their program to a different facet in your life. And so it'll just come in a different way. They have worked on this with John Nash's game theory for what? 70 years. When did John first roll that stuff out in the fifties? Yeah. Come on. Do you really think that injunctive relief is going to do it? It might for some folks at some points in some places, but financial relief is the one thing that needs to be done. And it doesn't have to be oodles and oodles of oodle, although I'm sorry. In my case, it's definitely 20 years. It's a million dollars a year. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all. Oh, there they go. They're so upset. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, so that's another controlled opposition kind of thing. Oh, no, no, don't go for the money. Just get the injunctive relief. See, the whole, and I'm not saying that that's what's happening. I'm just saying you have to be aware that this could be happening because it's only happened for the past 20 years for this poor community. And God only knows if we had the right leaders and we had the right strategies and we had unity and we didn't have controlled opposition from 70% of the community, we probably wouldn't have these programs. And that's why the controlled opposition is so broad, deep, and sweeping in every arena in life. So you must be aware. Okay, I am way overdone here. Uh, it was a good, it was a good forum. It was nice to see Catherine Horton take my idea of January 18th to nice fruition. The, late, the other ladies have done a wonderful job. And everyone, please pray for Millicent Black because I just, I have only had about six weeks of very severe torture by these guys. I cannot imagine what it would be to stand at the door of the devil on a daily basis and have to stand in the light of source and say, you are lost. You must come home. And that's what this woman is doing. Oh my God, that's intense. That is just, that to me is an inspiration for a lifetime. Thank you, everyone. Hey, please, I need your help at Justice Rising and the Annie Rising side. Get out of here, get solid, uh, get safe, and do what I can do. But I'll tell you what, guys, if they, you know, I mean, here's the deal. They're going to take me out. I mean, come on. So I'm going to give up my life for what? To be a martyr for the group? No, I don't think so. Especially if I have no financial support and my core group fell apart. I'm pretty sure two of those people are controlled opposition. Because again, there's controlled opposition because it's very stupid. It's been trained to do certain things because people who are really brilliant people have nothing to do with these creatures from the Black Lagoon. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> so, they don't because they're too brilliant and, and they have such integrity and they're so with source. It's impossible to have anything to do with those that, that cast of characters because you literally become physically ill in their presence. It takes an enormous soul, Millicent, my God, to be able to even withstand the proximity of them because they're so soulless, so lost, so dark, so insane that it's, it's just difficult, way too difficult. So guys, I, you know, <laughs> I, I've done my best. I will continue, but I need support from my community, community and that's all. Otherwise, I go on my merry way. I just go on to a new country. I do my artwork. I do my writing of my books. I step away from uh, revealing all that I know, understand into it and see. I think that's the other reason why they're so after me because I have that clear all ability, you know, and maybe that's what they use my brain for in the remote neural monitoring. Oh, see, I don't even like to think about these guys in there. Oh, see, that's how sad they are. They have to steal other people's talents and gifts. But then those who steal other people's talents and gifts, it's a sure sign of them being of that lost group. But 
So I need your support at Justice Rising and Annie Rising. And if you can't see yourself supporting me, well, then you don't need to listen to my videos. You don't need to get information from me. Um, if you'd like to personally consult with me, I'm more than happy to do that. And I can be reached at 941-356-8007 or at Annie Kaspar, A-N-I-K-A-S-P-A-R at gmail.com. Remember, you have to see one or two videos a day from me over the weekend to make sure I'm okay because there's a lot of weird things happening. And you know, the good news about these things is once you're trained to be Jason Bourne, you're Jason Bourne. But the assassination thing, oh God, I couldn't back my camera. Can you imagine? That was one thing. I think it was Ramola D was speaking about how these programs are actually that's exactly what they're supposed to do they're supposed to take people of the great light people of great soul and transmute them into the dark that's how delusional they are that just can never happen that can never happen i don't know how they think i guess they think with the electromagnetics that's the way it's going to happen no those of us of the light ultimately if there comes a point where we see there is actually and feel that there's actual compromise in our soul we exit and not by our hand we're with source it's pretty easy blessings this day